Hey YouTube, little update video on my uh, High Country 6000. <clears throat> a few rides on her so far this season, uh, working well like, like I expected. I've done all the pre-season maintenance myself, everything is hunky-dory with that. Uh, a few changes I made the year, I, my last video I posted I had a mid-height touring uh, windscreen and now I have the just the mid-height uh, white mid screen still works good it's still got you know it's not great wind protection it was a hell of a lot better than the stalker that was on it but like I said my stock one barely even covered up this uh, windshield bag this one comes way up in the house to flex the wind up you gotta have the right gear it's not as warm as the touring wind screen but looks a lot better uh, also added the hitch I was talking about just the the light duty clamp on hitch. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Oh, uh, so I bought the windshield second hand off classifieds and picked up the bumper as well, second hand. Uh, bumper turned out really good. Originally, this the bumper was green. Uh, come off a 2012 XF 8000 or 800 I guess and I had a few scratches and stuff so I bought bought that bumper and the windshield I think for $120 the package deal windshield alone is 130 and the bumper to buy from Articat now is $350 so I, I couldn't really turn it down so what I'd done <coughs> I uh, bought the bumper. I bought the bumper and uh, had it sent out an uh, hour and a half from here to a powder coating place and had it matte powder coat match the color orange that the stock bumper was and uh, turned out really good. It looks like a brand new bumper. It cost me 40 bucks. So all in all, I'm into that bumper, $120 versus 350 plus tax so I mean it turned out great there's no real big there's no dents in it at all actually it was just scratches from I guess trees and whatnot so turned out real good and I got a lot more a lot more protection on the machine for, for the front <clears throat> uh, they got three or four rides so far in the year uh, I lost an ice scratcher. <laughs> they only come with little lock washers and they don't do the job. So I have to go and buy a, a new set of scratchers. But they'll be going on with red Loctite. They're not coming off no more. <laughs> Everything else is working good on her. Uh, this, this bag, this goggle bag, I use it for my phone and my wallet. And that throws some heat from the engine. I can... My phone be this is a an Apple iPhone 7 or no 6 and I tell you throws the heat real good the phone bees warm hot to the touch channels when it comes out of that bag so that's good this bag here <coughs> works real well I had a whole shot tunnel bag here before and that thing used to fill full of water so that's why I had everything in these Ziploc bags but uh, there's absolutely no water gets in here. Nothing. It's great. That's why I should have bought the first time proper Arty Cat accessories. Uh, nice thing about this bag too, you don't see no straps. Cause I'm with these, uh, <coughs> you see these turnbuckles here. And it's great. But yeah, she's doing good, I must say. So meeting all my expectations. Well, I had her last year too. Uh, this year has been bitter cold. And the winter started off really good with snow, and then we had a mild, and now it's still okay. But with my job, I work out of town usually a bit, and I got two small children. So by the time I come home on Friday, I don't have much time to go. I, I can't just run off Saturday and go for a ride, you know. I'm a dad first. So if I do manage to get a scattered ride here and there, and machine is performing real well, great power, great on oil, 
That's a great guess, but what do you expect? There's no E Tech. I don't know people will tell you they are, but it does not. It's not as good as an E Tech. But that's it. I, I, I like the. Hopefully, the longevity of the C Tech will be better. Uh, but that's it. I just wanted to give a little update. I don't have a proper camera. I just got my iPhone here. So, one of these days, I'd like to get a GoPro. So, perhaps maybe I'll do another video. I don't know, outside somewhere where they're running and have a better look around. Maybe go over some maintenance points. Hoping to get a ride in this weekend. So I wasn't out of town this week, so hopefully I might get a ride in. The weekend we'll see. But yeah, she's uh, she's still a beast and I still like her. Still don't regret the 600. Still, I am going to buy 600 for my wife. Short track, though, not the two and a quarter. And that's it, she's, she's got a forever home here. <laughs> So, I said I might do an update video on her with her running. Of course, some maintenance points while we're in the season here. And then uh, the spring, maybe go over my bike. I've been using my bike a bit more of the year because my, my son likes my quad better. So, I've been using that a bit and then probably go over the motorcycle as well. Oh, I also got a 2018 Silverado Chev back there in the fall and just ordered some uh, 285 75 R17 tires, 34s. Putting a leveling lift kit on that. Actually, a lift kit two and a half in the front and two in the rear. So maybe I'll make a video on that. But as for now, uh, definitely we're midway through snowmobile season. So I'm going to try to keep the snowmobile videos coming. Uh, top speed I had her so far in the year was 185. Or 185. Just to me. 135. <laughs> 135 kilometers an hour. The 600 is turning the big track. Gets to 100, goes like ridiculously fast, but then she tapers off. She's, I guess she has mountain gearing. Top speed is not a big deal for me because half the time the trails around here are not that good anyways. But the, what I got left now for a plan for instead of, uh, I think I'm going to do orange handguards and uh, a uh, heat advisor plug. I think the plug goes here somewhere. Here or, I don't know here. I don't know. I got to. Look and see. I have a, a, a help with a heat advisor. So yeah, I think the handguards might be next year because I got to buy another set of uh, ice scratchers. But so far, so good. No trouble. Uh, I like the new look. I like my new bumper. Pretty well getting it pretty well decked out. Like I said, I got the windshield bag, the goggle bag, the uh, protectors for the shocks there, bumper. Hitch, bag, scratchers, it all it all uh, all adds up. Anyways, thanks guys and uh, any questions or comments just leave them below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Alright, thanks.